Hey there, Pipers. Still drinking. Coming at you today with a quick box opening. Uh, and I guess a bit of information. I blocked all tobacco purchases until I can get myself caught up. You know, we went traveling the end of 2013 and then there was Christmas and there's a lot of January, December birthdays. So there was just a lot of expense that had come up 2013, 2014. So I had put a freeze on all tobacco purchases, but I started seeing uh, on like Dion's uh, Sunday, Sunday show, I had seen it in a few emails that um, some tobaccos are being discontinued. A little housekeeping, my bone pipe with some Hamburger Wiermeister, or Hamburg Wiermeister, I think it's called, Wiermeister. Anyway, some tobaccos are being discontinued and uh, there were ones I had wanted to try. And because I was on a tobacco freeze, I didn't want to spend the money on it. I was like, okay, I never got to try it, that's fine. I don't need to, you know, I've, I've heard it was good, but it's fine, I don't need to, I don't need to try it. I don't wanna try it because I'm gonna like it. And because it's being discontinued, it's gonna piss me off. So I just put it in the back of my mind. Didn't wanna, didn't wanna deal with it. But then unfortunately going on Skype, talking with uh, different people, a number of different people, uh, everybody's talking about how they got themselves some and they really enjoy it and it sucks they're discontinuing it and this and that. And uh, people were on the fucking hunt for it and these pages that had it before, it's now gone. You know, it's discontinued and I'm pretty sure people are now just swarming to pick these, uh, to pick this tobacco up. Now, this was just a regular OTC plain Jane tobacco, but they are running out left and right, no matter where you go. So the, uh, the mailman had a couple of boxes for me today. One of them was for the farm and this one's mine. Hmm, they sent a notification just saying these, uh, all these blends are being discontinued. So that's what was on the email and all that. So kind of knew that was coming. Ah, they send a lot of shit. Well, anyway, John Middleton Sugar Barrel. So this should last me forever, 12 ounces. Should be good till the end of time on Sugar Barrel. Please don't litter. Underage sale prohibido. Blended by John Middleton. Well, Johnny boy, you're making a mistake in getting rid of this shit from what I hear. But let's give it a try, shall we? I don't hear anybody talking about Sugar Barrel, but it's supposed to be just a good all day, anytime smoke. Nothing super special about it, but it's supposed to be really nice at the same time. How the fuck do you open this? There we go. That's weird. Wow. Wow. It has kind of an anise smell to me. <laughs> that went right up my fucking nose. An anise smell. Smells sugary. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of Mixture 7 9, but let's take it out for a spin in the old cobber, eh? This fucking looks like Mixture 7 9, too. Like the way it's cut and it's all flaky and shit. What is it with tobacco that was made back then that's just cut like this and smells like this, it's kind of odd. You know, it's not uh, not very strong. It's very mild, very smooth. I can see why people consider it kind of an all day, an all day smoke because it's not one that'll uh, ruin the taste buds one way or another. It's interesting. It says it's mildly aromatic. I can agree with that, not bad. This is definitely something to smoke when you can't decide what exactly you want to smoke, or maybe even your last uh, your last smoke of the night because uh, your tongue is just shot. Because it seems really mild, very pleasant. Well, rest in peace, Sugar Barrel. Stay smoking, my friends. Uh, so dude, uh, I just discovered the best pipe tobacco in the world. Friggin' Sugar Barrel. 